Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. Here is the second problem on engineers in progress, point two. This time, let's have units of temperature, conversion from one unit to the other and I hope that this will help you prepare in your uh, engineering life especially for junior high school and senior high school students planning to take up engineering in the future. So the freezing point of water at standard uh, or normal conditions is 0 degree Celsius and it is also 32 degree Fahrenheit. The boiling point of water is 100 degree Celsius and 212 degree Fahrenheit. So we will establish relationship between the two because the relationship is linear and let's derive the formula or equation relating the two scales, temperature scales. So let's consider the horizontal as the scale in degrees centigrade and the vertical degree Fahrenheit. Then let's plot this point 0, 32 here. The freezing point and the boiling point is 100, 212. Then let's connect the two with a straight line. The slope, the horizontal distance is 100 minus 0, so 100, and the vertical distance is upper coordinate 212 minus 32, 180. So the horizontal is 100, the vertical uh, distance between these two points, 212 minus 32 is 180. So therefore, the slope of this line is rise over run, 180 over 100, so 1.8 or 9 over 5, but we will just express it in decimal 1.8. Then we have a point here with coordinates degree Celsius, degree Celsius, comma degree Fahrenheit, and we draw vertical and horizontal line. Then in general, the vertical line is the vertical distance is delta F minus 32, while the horizontal is delta degree Celsius, comma zero degrees centigrade gamma zero or degrees centigrade since the slope of this portion is equal to the slope of the original line then degree Fahrenheit minus 32 over degree Celsius minus zero equals 180 over 100 so by the way the absolute temperature of formula is temperature absolute temperature kelvins is temperature in degree centigrade plus 273.15 for absolute temperature later. So let's have uh, slope equated degree Fahrenheit minus 32 over degree Celsius minus 0 equals 180 over 100. So degree Fahrenheit therefore is 1.8 degree Celsius plus 32 after we simplify that equation. Then the absolute temperature is in SI units, Kelvins equals degree Celsius plus 273.15. You may consider 273 only, don't mind the 0.15 in some books. Then in English system, Rankine is Fahrenheit plus 459.6 and that is treated 460 but we'll just make use of the accurate value for 59.6. So for the applications, so let's have this problem here. At a certain elevation, the boiling point of water is 88 degrees Celsius. What is the boiling temperature in degree Fahrenheit? And what is the absolute temperature at the same point in Rankine? So for the boiling point in, in degree Fahrenheit, so this is the relationship Fahrenheit 
temperature scale is equal to 1.8 times temperature in degree Celsius plus 32. So degree Fahrenheit equals 1.8 times C plus 32. Substitute degree Fahrenheit equals 1.8 times 88 plus 32. So since in engineering classes, you're allowed to use the calculator because we should adapt the technology. And it is not good if we st strictly implement no calculator in college preparing for the board exam because the work of engineers would be more on calculations, applications of the principles. So the calculator, handheld calculator should be in their pocket or in the office. So degree Fahrenheit therefore is equal to 190.4 uh, degree Fahrenheit. That's the temperature in degree Fahrenheit, the boiling point of water at that elevation. Then for the absolute temperature in Rankine, Rankine is degree Fahrenheit plus 459.6, so substitute. So temperature in Rankine is equal to 190.4 plus 459.6, so it is equal to 650 Rankines. Uh, by the way, for your part, you should have your part answer this. This is pattern after this topic here. So the average absolute temperature in Baguio City, Philippines is 291 kelvins. What is the average temperature in degree Celsius? Then how about the average temperature in degree Fahrenheit? So I want you to answer this problem, this question. It is just the same as the one I made here. So I hope that you can answer this. Anyway, the formulas are here and you have to familiar with that in preparation for engineering life. That is if you want to become an engineer in the future. So I hope that my videos can help you prepare and hopefully you will become a good engineer in the future.